Hello, welcome to Candace Reviews. And today, this is a review uh, is going to be Rainbow Magic, the Fairy Tale Fairies, which is Lacey the Little Mermaid Fairy. I did an audiobook on this if you haven't noticed on my channel. So, also, um, this is a so this is the bell to friends named Rachel and Chrissy. Uh, going into uh, to an adventure and meeting this fairy, who lost her, her who lost her pearl, or the shell with the pearl, and uh, yeah, and it was stolen by Jack Frost, and one of his goblins. So they, so the so uh, Lacey turned Christian and uh, Christian and Rachel into fairies, and uh, this is where the adventure starts. The goblins kidnapped the Little Mermaid, and uh, they went into the lair. And of course, uh, the the F Jack Frost is like dressed in this like mermaid outfit. It's kind of silly, but this is this is what it looks like here. Yeah, this is kind of silly, and uh, yeah. And so, uh, the mermaid reluctantly teaches him how to be one by doing swimming lessons, and of course, the shell was on his trident. So, so, yeah, so the mer, so the so Lacey ha puts bubbles on their head, just like My Little, P just like how uh, the st uh, Princess Scar style, or um, some, or, or this this hippogriff, yellow hippogriff. I'm just gonna call her that from My Little Pony, the movie. And of course, as they're going down, they suddenly stumble upon some weeds, which, which is kind of understandable, but not really. But I don't know. So they hire her. So she goes all Aquaman and starts talking to the fish to, to help him, the school of fish to help her. And of course, they begin to. And of course, they be. Uh, or as they, um, uh, the Lacey begins to yell at the goblin teens to give her her little shell back. But he didn't, he doesn't want to, but of course, Lacey begins to break down in tears. But luckily, uh, the, luckily Rachel and Chrissy get the fish and, ch and cheer her up. And of course, the, the, of course, the, the, the Jack Frost drops the trident and of course, and it receives her pearl back, receives Lacey's pearl back. And, uh, yeah, and they free the Little Mermaid, and, uh, yeah, they go back into their little hotel thingy, and, uh, little hotel castle, and they go to Fairyland, and the fairy godmother from Cinderella just, like, uh, gets them some beautiful dresses, though. And, uh, yeah, and that's this, that's, that's a quick story analysis on it. So, I'll give this one, uh, 8 out of, 8.5 out of 10. Because I like the story, it kind of feels like a Barbie movie, like you know, Barbie and Rap as Rapunzel, Barbie and the Princess and the Proper, Barbie and Nutcracker, Barbie and the Island Princess, Barbie and Swan Lake. You probably get the drill. The story feels like a My Little Pony slash SpongeBob slash Barbie movie to me. And uh, if you watch uh, My Little Pony, it has one of those weird scenarios, something like that. And of course, Jack Frost kind of reminded me of the Ice King from Adventure Time because of his nose and beard. I mean, does he look like it to you? He currently does to me. And it's kind of silly, though, because, um, yeah, I just like the story of it. And, uh, yeah, so that's my review on it. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this review, and uh, I hope I'll be doing, yeah, and I'm looking forward to doing more audiobooks, creepypastas, and more. And if you want to request a, a book, a creepypasta, or something, leave it, leave, uh, DM me on my Instagram, and, and put it, or put it on the comments below, and I'll do it for you. Bye.